During our last installation, we talked about the first uh, of three aspects of resolve, um, the understanding that anchors your resolve. And this was about um, understanding your calling. Uh, now I want to talk about understanding the need of the kingdom. The Bible says from the days of John the Baptist up to now, the kingdom suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Uh, there is an understanding that you must have uh, that is beyond church, is beyond local congregations, is beyond the traditional way that we have seen things being done. Because when Jesus said, I will establish my church, he didn't say I will establish a congregation. Now, because of the administrative dispensation we are in, churches have to be registered as legal entities, but it being a legal entity on earth does not mean it has legitimacy in heaven. It does not mean it has authority over the powers of darkness. It does not mean that it has a mono monopoly on truth. It doesn't mean all these things that we extrapolate. It just means that it is legally constituted and in this day and age, it is in the, the shape and form that it can transact business without being disruptive to the governance system that we are living in. That's what it means. So understanding the need of the kingdom goes into you knowing the king and why the king set up the church, the ecclesia, the called out ones and that they have been called out for a purpose and this purpose must then be clear. Um, part of being called out means being those that are escaped from the rudiments of the world, the shackles that bind the minds and hearts of the people in every single generation. Understanding that you have been called out to be a model of light, a model of truth, a model of liberty, a model of God's order, a model of kingdom, um, kingdom grace and glory. You have not just been called to be one prolific in preaching and mindlessly repeating truths that have neither sunk in you, neither are you willing to pursue and model in your own life. No, no, no. That is not what being the ecclesia, the called out ones are. When you come into the kingdom of the Father, you submit to the King. And if you're not submitted to God, you can't.